It's important to have a good base, and if you don't have that correct footwork, then it makes it difficult to get uh, a balanced shot off. So a good stance, you ideally want to have your feet shoulder width apart. It's okay if your lead foot is a little bit in front, but you don't want to have too much of a split between the two feet. So this is bad footwork. Because when you have a major split between both feet, maybe too wide of a base, too far out, or potentially too close in. I would say those three are the, are the most common ones I see. So the next thing to work on is your arm position. The first thing is to have your, your hand underneath the ball not over the top of it because then you can't get any power. Almost like you're setting the ball on a, on a platter. And then you want to be able to drive that ball using the power from your legs up and into your shot pocket. All right, so don't do this. This is the chicken wing. Okay, when you bring your elbow out to the side, you're more likely to create that ball to spin sideways or for it to release kind of weird out of your hand. So ideally you have your elbow underneath the ball um, but it doesn't have to be rigid. Some people are a little bit more wide, some people a little more narrow. It's kind of what's comfortable as long as you're not extremely out to the side. The last step is the follow through, uh, and that's once you get the ball up into your shot pocket, then releasing it and making sure that the hand, as almost like you're reaching up into a cookie jar, okay, and you snap that follow through all the way through. So you're up, and you snap it through, okay, and you hold that release. Now with all those steps, you have to have consistency and you have to practice everything game speed because if you're only going half speed in practice then when you get to a game and things are sped up you're not going to feel as comfortable and it's going to make you rush your shot so practicing game speed is very important